So Wycliffe man paid more than $45,000 to a contractor to upgrade items on the outside of his home. But that homeowner was left with an incomplete mess. Homeowner says he's been calling the contractor for months now to get him to complete that job, but he is not getting anywhere. Getting a different excuse each time, like, oh, my truck got jackknifed on the highway, this, this happened, that happened. The Ohio Department of Insurance is issuing a warning calling this week Contractor Fraud Awareness Week. And News 5 investigator Joe Pakanakis talks to the experts about what you need to do to protect yourself before you sign a contract or issue any money up front. When you look at this deck here, I mean, is it kind of like broken dreams? Absolutely. Absolutely. Keith Rowan showed us the unfinished backyard deck at his Wycliffe home that's been sitting idle since last fall, paying a mentor contractor more than 45 grand up front for the deck, new siding, new roof, garage renovations, and front porch improvements. Things were progressing and suddenly everything just stopped. Instead of satisfaction, Keith, who was a single father trying to raise his young son, was left with frustration. An unusable back deck, a brick front porch that's a disassembled hazard, unsecured, potentially dangerous outdoor electrical wiring. His front awning sitting beached in his garage and construction debris and scrap wood strewn in his driveway. And now it's just like we're, we're struggling to make, make ends meet now because I didn't, I had to take out a loan for these things. I didn't just have the money. Cleveland BBB President Sue McConnell says never pay more in upfront money than what a contractor needs for supplies to start the job. Always get a written contract, something Keith did not obtain. And they should be able to show you current insurance coverage as well as current workers' comp coverage. Ohio Department of Insurance Fraud Enforcement Assistant Director Michelle Rayfeld warns consumers to contact a contractor's insurance company to verify their liability coverage before they start work at your property. Actually prosecuted contractors for providing a false certificate of insurance to a consumer. And if a contractor is at your home to check on roof storm damage, you should always keep watch as they do the inspection. The Ohio Department of Insurance showed News 5 pictures of instances where contractors willingly caused roof damage to trigger work and an insurance claim. A lot of them to simulate uh, wind damage will pull up shingles. News 5 isn't naming the contractor in Keith's case as both parties try to work out a solution. Keith's consumer advice? Always get a written contract. Um, even, even then, you'd still never give everything up front. And the Ohio Department of Insurance recommends getting at least three estimates for every major home improvement job that the lowest price isn't always the best deal. And also, don't sign a contract on the first day. Read it and understand that agreement before signing up. I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis. The Ohio Department of Insurance has issued a list of 10 things you can do to avoid contractor fraud. That list and links to consumer resources from the BBB and the Department of Insurance are posted right now at News5Cleveland.com.